Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I can't believe it's the end of August. Autumn is around the corner and yet I don't remember having any summer here at all. It rained an incredible amount. But I can feel autumn in the air. So it always gives me this enthusiasm to thoroughly clean the house. And I think it's a wonderful time to do it because this time of the year is all about harvesting. It's all about the fruits of your labor, working hard all summer and then of course having all that produce in the garden. So it's a time that I actually get quite busy getting everything done to then hibernate during the winter months up until the winter solstice. So I thought we would clean the bathroom thoroughly and I just share a little bit of updated sustainability tips that I have. Things have stayed relatively the same, that there are a few changes I've made since having a child to make my life a little bit easier. We put this bathroom in about a year ago. We wanted to have a bathtub so our little fairy could have a bath, of course. And Terry and his friend did it mostly secondhand, free, reclaimed. I'm not actually using the chickpea flour anymore. It just seems to take me too long. So I'll use either some shampoo that I can get a refill for or a shampoo bar. Terry still uses the shampoo bar, the conditioner bar, and he still uses the soap. But I found I was buying an incredible amount of soap during the year. So it just seemed I was being a little bit too wasteful. So I've changed to just getting a bottle and able to get a refill of some very eco soap. For our little fairy, we don't actually wash her with soap, we just use water at the moment. I've heard that it's better for their skin, it lets them build all their microbiome, and you don't need to be stripping all their skin with all these harsh chemicals. What I've realized when I was looking at this bathroom, it may look clean on the surface, but it really was quite grim. And cleaning the bathroom isn't my favorite activity to do. I will just do the bare minimum. But I found it very therapeutic to take everything down, really go to the nitty gritty, all the dust, all the dirt and the grime. It's wonderful to be able to get rid of it all. This is my favorite duster of all time. I got it from my friend, it was her mother's. And it serves us wonderfully here because we have so many barn spiders in the house. I still use the same thing to clean glass and windows, which is just the vinegar and water. I just put a dash of washing up liquid. I saw that tip online. I have noticed a slight difference. I'd love to know if you're somebody that gets real enthusiasm at this time of the year to clean and scrub the house. I was actually inspired after watching a video online where they talked about habits of people from Japan, daily habits that they do just for living well. And one of them was cleaning the toilet daily. So I was really inspired. They talked about how the owner of Panasonic and the owner of Honda, to name but a few, actually clean their toilet daily. So they explain that when you clean the toilet daily, it actually can bring good luck and it actually can bring humility. So I thought it was very interesting and it's been sitting with me for a while. 
We've been having trouble with the grout in our bathroom. Of course, I left it too long. So we've got very hard water, so now it's gotten quite dark. This was a recipe I saw online, I'll leave it below. Just baking soda and Castile soap. And then I always have two brushes, old two brushes on hand for the cleaning. So I've been sitting with humility. I have found that having a child is humbling on a daily basis. But I saw the connection with your bathroom. We always think in this material world, we can be so puffed up thinking we're high and mighty just because we have X, Y and Z externally. And yet when you're cleaning the bathroom, it is incredibly humbling. There is no emphasis in this society of what we've done internally to grow. It's always what we can see externally. And I think when you're cleaning the bathroom, that really sits with you. We can have a tendency to think that the grass is greener. What is everyone else doing? Instead of just seeing the importance of our own life and looking after our own garden or our own bathroom, so to speak. I like to soak the shower head in a little bit of borax. Not to be mixed up with boric acid, which is different. Borax is just a little bit more alkaline than baking soda, so it's a little bit of a better cleaner and it's a natural disinfectant as well. And it's safe to use. The only thing is it can be a little bit drying, like washing soda as well. Drying in the sense for your hands or your skin, if you're sensitive. But I found it doesn't bother my skin at all. The cream cleaner that I made, I had loads left over, so I used that for all the rest of the bathroom. I always have a little wire scrubber for the glass. If you live in an area that has really hard water, I do find it makes life a little bit trickier when you're trying to clean. And like before, glass, windows, the same product I've been using for years. So inexpensive to make, and it's great that you can buy vinegar in big containers. And there is nothing like a clean shower door. So I had these soaking, and all the dirt just seemed to lift off really easily. But let me know what you think about humility in relation to cleaning, especially the bathroom. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your wisdom. Some say that baking soda can kind of leave streaks on stainless steel, but I found it to be okay once it's just nicely wiped off with water and of course then with a microfiber cloth, it shined up really nicely. And funnily enough, ever since I've given this bathroom a thorough clean, I've been actually doing it daily. And I have found it much easier. It is the irony in life that, of course, when we do things little and daily, it doesn't build up so badly but I left it so long, it hadn't had a thorough clean in so long that it was a little bit more effort. But it is so nice to be able to clean your bathroom or your house knowing that the chemicals you're using are not toxic. There's so much toxicity in the world at the moment. It's building and building every day. So just keeping your cleaning products simple So I think it shined up really nicely. And then onto the toilet. I reused the grout cream, and then I'll always use an old scrubber from the kitchen when I'm done with it. 
it will move into the bathroom. And there is definitely nothing more humbling than being on the ground, scrubbing a dirty toilet. Let me know what you think about that one. But it did get me thinking of how in life we can be so critical of certain jobs that people do, that our ego really gets in the way. Like if we think that we have a PhD, that that makes us better than somebody who's cleaning a toilet, so to speak. And it really is all just nonsense. I remember my dad used to tell me when I was younger that there was no difference, so to speak, between the CEO of a company and the person who's cleaning the toilets, that everyone deserved the same amount of respect. And I always remembered it. Because I think our ego can get involved and it thinks, of course, that we're not good enough. We're not good enough at what we're doing. We're not good enough choosing a simple life. The material world is so incredibly based on what you achieve externally. There's very little importance put on what you achieve internally, how you're feeling today, how you've grown at yourself as a human. Those things can't be measured in the same way as if you have ABC, of course, in the external world. There's a few little updates I have with oral hygiene. I'm still using the thumb scraper, the copper thumb scraper. I am a huge fan of tongue scraping. My husband, after years of sharing different toothpaste, he still prefers just the paste from a tube. So I try and buy a nice eco one, as natural as I can get it. And of course, I'm able to recycle the tub and the lid. And I don't make my own toothpaste anymore. I've just been using a very simple one in paper packaging not as practical in the bathroom. And the bamboo toothbrushes, I'm not a huge fan of anymore. So I'm gonna look into something a little bit more sustainable. I heard that there's some recyclable plastic toothbrushes you can get. So if you know, let me know below. Because bamboo toothbrushes, I find they mold really quickly in the bathroom. My favorite thing to do is cleaning mirrors. I just feel everything's clean when the mirror is cleaned. Same thing I used for the sink leftover from the grout cream. And I've stopped buying soap to wash our hands. I was saying that it was, I found it a bit more wasteful. So I found these containers that use, you put in a little bit of liquid soap and then the rest with water. And it has a little bit of foam and it's fantastic. I'm finding that I can get refills for liquid soap and it's lasting me about a year because you're using so little. We're always using too much soap and I found I was just buying too many soaps every week. And this is a just a simple stainless steel one. And I found in a random shop, I'm not too sure what they're called, but they just use a little foam mechanism and it saved an incredible amount. I think everything now when we're trying to live simply, it's being sustainable, it's being economically savvy, and it's being less wasteful. You're just always trying to make life simpler. So a little microfiber cloth shines up that stainless steel really beautifully. So our bathroom is incredibly small. So when your bathroom is tiny, you keep everything in a cabinet. 
Terry actually made this cabinet. We got the sink second hand and we couldn't find anything to put underneath, so he made it with his own bare hands. I'm really impressed and think it's beautiful. And I just keep things in plastic containers underneath because of course, water. Things were getting so mouldy in the bathroom. For the floor, simple general cleaner, just give it a quick little wipe. And finish off with a little bit of greenery to add a bit of life to the bathroom. So I'm really incredibly happy with the results. It's wonderfully reassuring to know that everything is non-toxic that you're using. And I hope it's really inspired you to deep clean your bathroom. Let me know if it does. And if you find that you're a little bit more humble after. You can see how tiny the bathroom is here. You can barely move in it, but it is perfectly succinct. Sure, what more do you need? And all that's left to do is give our little fairy a bath. It's our favorite thing to do, popping all the toys into the bathtub. We've pretty much been using the same toys for the last year. No bathroom is complete without a rubber duck. So thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. I look forward to chatting in the comments below. Have a wonderful month and I will see you in the next video.